recently I got a comment on one of my videos that I did a couple of months ago. The video that I did was called Saturated Fat and Cholesterol is Harmful and it was one of the videos I did in response to an article called 8 Ridiculous Myths About Meat Consumption by Chris Gunners of Authority Nutrition. And the comment that I got was from Steve Ritchie and this is what he said. I believe in low carb, high protein diets and higher fat. Regarding your case study of the woman who ate 12 eggs a day, she may have been sensitive to eggs at that quantity. A lot of people are. The only way I have ever been able to control my cholesterol is with a higher protein diet. Whenever I ate as suggested by mainstream thinking, it went up. I don't eat out or fast food. As for vegans, good luck. Most all the vegans I see are sickly looking. Even one vegan guru changed her eating to incorporate protein because after years of no animal protein, she became very ill and corrected that with animal protein. Ultimately, I think that some people can do with much less protein than others. We just have to find the optimal food intake that makes us healthy. I did not say thin, healthy. So. I saw a lot of misinformation in that comment and I wanted to write a response and do a video on it. So I did write a reply and I'll share that with you and I might elaborate a little bit on it as well. So this is what I said in response to Steve. That's quite a unique experience you have. Did you go fully plant-based without added oils and limiting your intake of higher fat vegan foods? I haven't met many vegans personally, but the ones that I have met are healthy looking, including myself. I'm subscribed to many vegan channels and they are very healthy looking people. And some of these people used to be not so healthy looking. Of course, there will be exceptions. So um, you'll see exceptions of not healthy looking vegans if you look at the vegans who eat a lot of junk food and those who don't follow a whole foods plant-based diet. So vegan and plant-based isn't necessarily the same thing because the diet that I follow is low in fat. Um, I don't add any oils to cooking and I try to avoid it as much as possible. I do eat um, plant fats, like on occasion I might have some nuts or even a bit of peanut butter, but it's not a regular thing. So I consume it on occasion. The kind of foods that I eat more are fruits, veggies, beans, whole grains, legumes, um, noodles, rice, potatoes, that kind of thing. So I try to stick with whole foods rather than with processed foods. So that's the diet that I follow and it also happens to be part of the vegan lifestyle. And so I'll continue. You will see a lot of sick and obese meat eaters too, so you can't really say that eating meat makes people healthier. If you're using the logic, most all of the vegans I see are sickly looking. Now, often I get comments that I look 10 years younger than I am, and it could be Asian genes. So just two nights ago, I went to a Christmas party, and someone that I didn't know was guessing my age, and they thought I was 18. And I've had um, people think that I'm 17 or 16 even and um, I think those who are more familiar with Asians and how they kind of don't age until they're 50 um, they would think that I'm probably in my mid-20s but I'm 28 years old and I look younger than I do or younger than I am and um, so it is partly because I'm Asian and I do have to say that I look better now than I was before I became vegan. So it's not all because of my genes, it's also because of my lifestyle and my diet. So my skin, which reflects my inner health, went from having severe acne and eczema as well to almost clear. I still get a few little pimples on my face, um, even when I'm eating really clean. And it does help when I exercise more and when I get more sleep and when I'm not so stressed. So I'm definitely not perfect in my health, but I'm not unhealthy. I'm much healthier now than I was before. And another testimony I can share is that my mom's cholesterol went down after one week on a plant-based diet, but she was doing this more as a detox rather than a lifestyle. 
So she knows that a vegan diet is healthy, but she kind of just doesn't want to do it right now. I don't know if she ever will. But she did go on a whole foods plant-based diet for a week. And it's not really the diet that I follow because I eat a lot more. I eat a lot more food, but she ate until she was satisfied. She ate like vegetables and fruit and um, she did eat some beans as well. So her cholesterol, which has always been high and it's like a genetic thing as well because my grandparents, my grandpa, her dad has high cholesterol and so she has a tendency to get high cholesterol and um, only after she did this one week of plant-based diet, her cholesterol went down lower than it has ever been in a long time. So that is proof that a plant-based diet can work for lowering cholesterol and it's not just the case with my mum but with many other people including Potato Strong. If you haven't checked out his channel you can. He's got a Facebook page as well where he shares his story. So I mean you'll find a lot of stories on YouTube and even just um, asking people and looking at studies, you'll see people lower their cholesterol with a plant-based diet and it's faster and more effective than including animal foods still in your diet. I also wrote in my comment, plant foods such as beans and vegetables are great for lowering cholesterol according to studies and the vegans I've seen. What do you currently eat and what is your cholesterol level at the moment? I doubt that people become ill from not eating animal protein. It is always a different reason, but they blame it on not eating animal protein. Often it's because of under eating, or they had a deficiency in a certain vitamin or mineral, which is easily corrected with either a B12 injection or supplement, or more leafy greens in the diet. Except for vitamin B12, which is a bacteria found in our gut and in soil, vitamin D from sunlight or from fortified foods, there is not one essential nutrient that can be obtained from meat that isn't in plant food. You said corrected that with animal protein. Protein is amino acids and all plant foods have all the essential amino acids. So it's definitely not the animal protein that is making people better. It's another reason. And all the essential amino acids are in plant foods in sufficient amounts as long as people are eating enough calories. and for most people that would be 46 to 56 grams of protein a day and some people will thrive on even less than that and I said also I'm not really interested in changing your diet if you're not open to it and if you're satisfied with your high protein and higher fat diet then you are allowed to do that but I'm not letting you get away with saying that some people need animal protein to be healthy and giving the impression that vegans are more sickly looking in general than meat eaters when in my experience and observation, it's been the opposite. So that was my response to Steve and he hasn't replied yet because I only just wrote that comment. But if you have any thoughts on this subject, on lowering cholesterol or on the subject of animal protein or plant protein and what is enough, um, I even did a video on, on protein a while ago and it was based on the article by Rich Roll called Slaying the Protein Myth and basically if you eat enough food if you eat enough calories for your weight you're not going to be protein deficient it's better to be lower in protein than too high let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video bye